Here is a classic interview question that I think does almost everybody's mind in. What is your five year plan? Or maybe your 10 year plan or your lifetime plan? This does my head in and I find it so hilarious. Today I want to unpack that, this idea and ask, do we really need one? And I'd love to know your thoughts down below, so do leave a comment. This is Life Thoughts with Stargy Valley, and I'm a man in the West. Don't feel guilty if you don't know what you want to do with your life. The most interesting people I know didn't know at 22 what they wanted to do with their lives. Some of the most interesting 40-year-olds I know still don't. Those are some of the words from Mary Schmidt um, at a commemorative speech called Wear Sunscreen. And that was adapted into a very famous song back in the late 90s, um, narrated by Baz Luhrmann. These words have really helped me through my life. Um, in fact, the whole song, go and check it out. I really recommend you do that. It's a weird song, but actually there's just a lot of warmth and a lot of good, good things to ponder on. Now, while it's amazing if you have, you know what you're passionate about, you know what you want to do, and you've been training uh, your whole life for it, that's great. But I want to say that that's maybe more the exception. A lot of us really are spending our whole lives discovering who we are, what we love, what we enjoy. As new experiences come along, we mold and shape and we change our we have different changing ideas what we used to love so much we start to get a little bit bored of sometimes and suddenly we stumble across new things that just completely grab our attention and I think that's great I think that's such um, a beautiful look at life that you can keep learning new things there's so much value in not knowing everything. It helps you appreciate uh, other people's skill and the amount of time that they've put into things. Um, I remember teaching somebody once how to play guitar and the very first thing they said is, wow, I suddenly have so much respect for all musicians everywhere. <laughs> and um, they, wouldn't they wouldn't necessarily have said that if they hadn't have given it a try. I sometimes get concerned when I look at our school systems and how they really do try to make us decide at the age of 16 what we're going to do for the rest of our lives. And yeah, maybe there are some career paths that really require a huge long-term dedication. But isn't it crazy that we're asking people at that age to do that? I mean, if they know for sure and they're dedicated to it, then that's great. So long as they know that it's okay to wa want to change and switch it up at some point. There's responsibility in that and there's huge decisions to be made, but... I don't know. I just really think that... Whereas having these plans can be great. It can, it's also really great to be flexible. So it's great to have direction. It's great to have a sense of purpose and knowing where you're going. But it's really normal to not have that. You're not alone. You're in good company. That's most of us. And with a flexible heart, a flexible mind, who knows where you could end up being anyway. Life's an adventure, so roll with it and see what happens. <laughs>